Is Luka Doncic the best guard in the NBA heading into the 2023-2024 NBA season? Harrison Graham, Jeffrey Cooperstein here for another episode of Dallas Mavericks today. Coop Bleacher Report put out a just ranking article, and Luka numero uno on that list among all guards in the National Basketball Association. Numero uno, and it kind of surprised me because there's a lot of damn good guards in the NBA right now. I don't, yeah. I don't Mr. know if you know this, Mr. but Stephen Curry plays this guy, game. Steph Curry, does still play in the NBA. So here's the top five. You have Luka at one, Steph Curry at two, Devin Booker at three, Shea Gildas Alexander at four, Damian Lillard at five. Okay. It's an interesting list. I love my guy Luka. I'm not sure he's above <laughs> Steph Curry. If he's not above Steph, though, he's like – a clear two, in my opinion. Like, he's, you know, he, he's better than Booker. He does more than he does. SGA, he's he's a fast riser here, but he's clearly better than him. I like Dame, but, you know, you give people give Luka uh, shit for not playing defense sometimes. Dame is incapable of playing defense. Like, Luka he literally actually, can, yes. Luka actually can. He just doesn't all the time. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, maybe it's a 1A, 1B situation. If you put a gun to my head and said, I'd choose, I'd probably rank Steph higher, but, I mean, Steph's not going to be what he is forever. Like, three years from now, I don't think there's any question Luka will be at the top of this list, and in some regards, he already is, uh, uh, at least uh, according to some people. And for so. good measure, his teammate Kyrie Irving ranked number 12 on this okay. list as well. So Mavs, two of the top 12 guards in the NBA, according to Bleacher Report. We obviously know what Luka can do. I mean, we've seen it over his entire career. Beginning in his rookie season, we knew he was going to be special. And it's kind of just taken off from there. But now, like we've talked about here in the past, it's time for him to take that next step, become a leader, become a truly elite player in the NBA. Yeah, like, to me, the numbers really don't have to improve. <laughs> like, no, yeah, it's not like, about the numbers at Like, this if point. he's 38 and 8 again, like, and the efficiency is 47% plus, and he's 35% plus from three, like, I'm cool, like, it's more about being a better leader. I do one statistic that must improve is free throws. Free throws. What did and he shoot last year? He seven? shot seventy-four percent. Give me eighty. Like if you're at eighty, I'm thrilled. I, I've always set this benchmark, Coop. If you're a guard in the NBA, and yes, Luca is a guard, you should shoot eighty plus percent. If you're a big. 65 plus. And if he's shooting 80%, that means he's adding two to three points per game, and all of a sudden he's at 35 a game. Exactly. And, and he's the MVP of the league. And again, even if the points don't go up, like, I don't really care about that. It's just that when you get to the line, you got to make four or five. Like, that's that's the bottom line. So um, that's the one area in terms of like on court offensive shooting splits that needs to improve that uh, he really, really needs to focus on. Now, quick update from him. Uh, Great group stage, 3-0, and 3-0, right? yeah. Three and they, they beat uh, Cape Verde today. They struggled a little bit, but they ended up beating him. Luca wasn't very efficient from the field, but finished with 19 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists, and 31 minutes of play. 3-0, uh, and yeah, so they move on to the second round here. Do we know who they're playing yet? I'm not sure if we know who their opponent is right now, but I can look up really quick and check. We do know this, though, a potential quarterfinal clash with the U.S. I, so the way it looks, it, they would not play until the semifinal. Oh, that's juicy. Yeah, I know. Though. I wish they would have played in the quarterfinal. Well, but maybe they'll make it to the semis. I don't know if Slovenia is going to have a path that can get them to the semis, but uh, we'll see that ha if that happens. But bottom line here, Coop, is I think Luca, and we've said this for months, but he's gearing up for a monster season. Like, he's taking care of the body. He's motivated. He's trying to carry Slovenia to a deep run in the World Cup. Like, I just think we're going to see. It's going to be awesome. Not a, new, a different Luka, but like. A motivated. A, a motivated, maybe a little bit of a different side of him this year. Even more of an intense competitor than he already is. Uh, There's no doubt last year pissed him off. Like, he's admitted it. He said throwing Absolutely. in the towel and not trying to make the playoffs pissed him off. So, And uh, quick update. Slovenia will be playing Australia. So, they, Mavs versus round Mavs. Of 16? In, in the round of 16, Ooh, the second a, round. What is that? Friday, 6.55 a.m. Central oh, Time. Oh, man. Well, we can do – are you in Friday? I am out. Oh, I am well, out Friday. I may try to do a video. That'd be I fun. Think I'm, uh, I think I'm in Friday. So, maybe we'll have a recap of that. But uh, you look at the MVP odds, too. Top three, top four. By the way, he should be ahead of him. Agreed. The Philly situation it's, is out of it, control. They're in shambles in Philly. Daryl Morey once again blowing up another organization. <laughs> I mean, we don't know what's going on there. Are they going to trade? What's his face? Harden. Are, are they going to trade James Harden? And if James Harden gets traded, is, is Embiid going to ask out? Yeah, Who knows? It's, it's, honestly, Luka, Tatum, and 
for me, Steph should all be ahead of Embiid. But that's neither here nor there. We'll see what happens on that front. But you and I have been on this kind of war path for a while. We think Luka is going to uh, come out angry this year. But hopefully controlled angry. That's, for sure. That's what we need to see. That's where the maturation has to come into play. Plus like, 600 odds. Good odds as well. I like it. 10 to 160. I mean, I think uh, this could be the year for Mr. Luka Doncic. Is Luka the best guard in the NBA? Do you agree with Bleacher Report? Type Y for yes, type in for no. Again, if I had to choose for this season, I might still choose Steph, too, but it's very, very close. It's I mean, close. And it's crazy to think that he's even up there in that conversation, that a guy on the Dallas Mavericks is one of the truly I mean, look, elite he's, players. He's the third or fourth NBA. best player in the world. It's crazy. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing the Mavs have found this guy, which is why they got to maximize his career here. Uh, some other news around Luka. He's extending his Jordan deal. Uh, he's been there since 2019. It, uh, that contract was up next year, but I believe it's now up through 2029. 29, so. yes. So he extends his Jordan deal, him and Zion Williamson among the leaders of the Jordan brand for basketball. And he's dropped some pretty cool shoes, just running through a picture. You have the Slovenia colorway of the Luka ones, and then you have the Jordan ones here as well. So he's put out a couple of cool shoes with Those them. Are these, I, I actually have these, and I wear them on occasion. So yeah, Luka, one of the faces of Jordan. Obviously, one of the faces of the NBA as well, and he gets another long-term contract with Jordan that I would assume is for a lot, a lot of money. Yeah, and quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if the next deal uh, is a potential lifetime deal. Yeah, it could be. He's going to be, I mean, he already is, but international superstar by the end of this contract, no doubt about it. All right, more to come. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more Mavericks news, rumors from real Mavericks fans. We got you covered. Several videos per week, season getting closer. Uh, next time we talk, it'll probably be the month of September. Yes. So uh, training camp is uh, upon us, just about a month away. So uh, lock it in here. Hit the sub button here on Dallas Mavericks today. Now, while Bleacher Report was praising Luka Doncic and probably away the Dallas Mavericks, not ESPN. They've got the Mavs with the ninth seed in their projections going 43-39 and 39 this upcoming year. And Coop, I know last year was a disappointment, but... Just about everything that could go wrong went wrong. No doubt. And they tanked for the final 10 days of the season. And they won 38 games last year. Like, they're only going to jump to 43 despite, like, some key role player changes and a full offseason of Luka and Kyrie hopefully building upon, uh, you know, limited games together. I, I just don't see it. Like, they're, they're going to be better than, top, than number nine seed. If the Mavs finish ninth in the West, it is an abject failure of a season, and I wouldn't be surprised if Jason Kidd, if they make a change at head oh, coach. Oh, I'll say it right now. If the Mavs don't get at least into a first-round series, Kidd's cooked. I think he's done. Unless Luka or Kyrie has catastrophic. Exactly. Like, so, I mean, they, they absolutely have to do better than the ninth seed, and they have to do better than 43 wins. Now, when you look at the playing group, you have up-and-coming teams like the Oklahoma City Thunder, like the Memphis Grizzlies, who will be out without John Morant for the first 25 games of the season. And then you have the Timberwolves. Who knows what's going to go on with them because Rudy Gobert is absolutely cooked. I don't know if you've watched him Has in the been FIBA World Cup. FIBA? Oh, he's been horrible. France was 0-2, and, and they're out. That trade is going to go down as maybe the worst ever. It's, it's, a bad, it's a bad, disastrous trade. Obviously, Anthony Edwards is great, but who knows what's going to go on there. Look. The Mavs have to win somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 games. It's and look, let's be honest. The West is a beating again. Last year, there was a slight down year. Well, KD gets traded back to the there West. There you go. Uh, the Lakers have retooled. Uh, you know, when Memphis is going to be on the bubble because Jaws going to miss a quarter of the season like or a third of the season almost. Like, we know how good they are when he's healthy. So, it's not going to be easy. But the bottom line is, the way you've operated, committing to Kyrie – like, you got to be a top six or seven seed. Like, that's just, that's the expectation. Uh, and quite frankly, that's the floor. Like, you should be shooting no to doubt. be a top four or five if we're being realistic. And I'm I think 50 you. games is the benchmark, you man. You should shoot for 50. Look, if you get 47, 48, and you're the five seed, that's okay. seed I'm not going to bitch about it. But, like, I'll be honest, Coop. Unless there's major injuries, you should avoid the play in. Like, there's no excuse there's to not no be a top excuse. six. You've got. A top four player on the planet, another top 20 player on the planet, and good role players that fit those two players. Like, the only question mark for real is center. You should be able to overcome that. There is no time like the present. The Mavericks are not a team that is building something. They are built, they are built to win now and win often.
And look, that doesn't mean they can't improve. Like, there's a reason we've talked about Clint Capella and other centers throughout the offseason. But they're but not here to make an incremental improvement. No, no. They are ready to – they went to the conference finals two years ago and then laid an egg last year. They're Let's go. to get back. Time to, to get back. Were, so, uh, no doubt about it. All right, we're setting the over-under at 49 and a half. Uh, those frauds at ESPN have set it at 43. Stiffs. Um, it's going to be over 43, and if it's not, uh, fire everybody. But uh, – I might take the slide under on 49 yeah, and a half. I would probably go under. I, 50, 50 is lofty. I, you know, I, I think it's a good goal to have. I think 47, 48 is probably where I'd have to guess they're going to be. Um, and a stiff Western Conference, you go 48 and 34, you're avoiding the play in, I think. So I'll go slight under, but uh, if you go 50 or more, you're probably a top four seed, if not a top three. And that's the goal. You want to get home court advantage in at least the first round of the playoffs. And if yep. you win 50 games, you're, you're on track to do that for sure. No doubt about it. So let us know what you guys think in the comments. Join the conversation. He's Jeffrey Cooperstein. I'm here. We'll see you guys. More to come on Dallas Mavericks.